Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl. Miss I don't know why I thought it fell. Oh my god. I don't know why it's too early in the water for me to be geeky for real. For real. But this is your girl, Miss Supermodel. Welcome back to my channel, Queen of All the Trades. So today I'm about to do your May 2020 monthly, alright? Mm -hmm. So let's get right into it, Capricorn. Okay, your overall energy is the five of coins right now. So some of y'all is definitely having financial issues, okay? Problems with money with the four of coins. Okay. Or well, some of you guys are just feeling. Let me see what's behind that. Yeah. Some of you guys are definitely feeling left out in the cold. Okay, and it's a decision that you need to make in the situation. Dealing with a love, um, a love situation, probably somebody that's like the father of your child, or um, somebody that's um, probably like a divine masculine energy here. Okay, somebody that could have walked away from you. Okay, but I see that y'all use that in the in separate. You're in separation with this from this person. It could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Aries, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so your current energy, the way that you feel and thinking in this current energy about this person or in general is um, justice. Okay, so you want justice. Um, this Libra energy could be dealing with Libra or you can have Libra in your chart, but um, you want justice. You know, um, you're trying to balance out some things here in this situation with this person. So let me go ahead and clarify justice. You could be trying to balance out your finances or trying to balance out, um, balance the scales as far as dealing with this person. Like you could be going through some legal issues and don't got the money. Or it could be a legal issue that's coming up and you don't really got the money for real. Clarify um, justice. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So you're just trying to get some some balance within your money right here. Um, you could be a single mother, okay. This is a Virgo card. You could be a Virgo in your chart, um, but or be dealing with Virgo. But you're just trying to balance your money out and trying to make sure that you got enough to secure your household, your household funds, okay. Um, I feel like that was definitely. So, I'm, okay, so while I'm talking to you, you was you out of work, okay, because I feel like this is a huge loss on you. This is like the co-worker card, people going to work, um, collaborating together, and then we have separation here, okay? So, it's um, some of your cases, y'all just trying to make sure y'all balance out your money evenly, okay? Um, trying, to, trying to be able to make sure that you can provide for your family, okay? Some of y'all are single parents, um and having financial issues. The other one where I was talking about the person who was having that issue with a, um, a love situation that they need, that they need to, um, a love situation dealing with the child's father or a masculine, a male figure in the in the life who walked away in the situation here, yeah, okay? Um, could be an Aries or a Gemini or a Taurus or a Catholic or whoever, but in that situation, I feel like um, that could be somebody that you was dating probably at work or something like that, and you in separation from this person. This person hurt you, okay? With the um, Three of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. So 
doesn't know about Capricorn's current energy. Yeah, I feel like um, whatever it is that you said about here, um, whatever it is that you stressed out about with the Five of Cups, I feel like that you're going to, um, don't worry, um, everything is going to be taken care of, your wishes is definitely going to be fulfilled here with this Nine of Cups, you're going, you're going to get what it is that you want, okay, um, there's definitely some type of good news, off is definitely coming in for you um, regarding money. Get your Pentacles energy towards Rebel Capricorn. Okay. Um, if you were struggling with finances, dealing with a legal issue, I feel like you shouldn't worry. Um, I think there's going to be some good news coming in dealing with this that issue. So the person that you're thinking about dealing with, that current energy is the Three of Cups. Okay, so this person could be thinking about reconciling. Or I could be just thinking about celebrating or partying. Let's pick up on that energy. So this person got the Queen of Cups in reverse and the um the seven of cups. So I feel like this person be having a lot of dreams. I feel like um, this person is wishing that they can go out and have fun and celebrate or maybe be wishing and thinking about you. Okay. Um, with this queen of cups, so in, in the reverse, this person could definitely be codependent into a situation here. Okay. It's like they want to communicate here. Yeah. Cause they want to make some type of offer for you but it's like they just they're not doing it you're just sitting here thinking about it because they have the offers lined up you know or they're thinking about they're thinking about making you an offer here but they want to communicate with the eight of wands so if you guys aren't in communication and you're feeling sad about the situation i feel like this person do want to communicate but i feel like yeah they're thinking about it they find a sudden help yeah, they want to give equally in the situation here. But it's just not the right time. You know, they stuck in a the situation. They stuck in some other situation. It could be a third party situation here. But they, they, they stuck in another situation here. And so with the magician in the reverse, it's not the right time. You know, it could be over with an Aquarius. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They stuck in a codependent situation. Whoever this person is that you're thinking about or dealing with. Yeah. They have the they have the lovers too. See the same lovers card came out. A decision. Somebody definitely that's what I was saying. Overall energy. Somebody definitely have a decision that they, that they need to make. Dealing with love. And then here we go with the um the emperor here. Okay. Somebody definitely need to take control, take stand. It could be um the male figure that's in your life or somebody that you that you connected to. But this person, whoever this is, it's like they in a codependent relationship right now. Pretty much. Could be dealing with a Gemini, somebody got Gemini in a chart. I feel like this person could definitely be worried about finances as well, okay? Um, could have Capricorn in that chart, but somebody is thinking about, um, you know, success and money. That's what person is thinking about. Could be you, could be them, you know. But it's in that section, so I'm gonna read it like it's them. But it could very well be you. Anything else, Capricorn, you know about the person you're thinking about or dealing with? Yeah, so they have the five of coins too. That's the overall energy, okay? 
So I feel like this could be your twin flame or your soulmate or something like that because both of y'all is marrying each other with this situation. This is the five, team, five of coins, okay? These two is the same card. So somebody is feeling left out in the cold right now, okay? But I feel like that cycle is about to be completed. So maybe this person is left out in the cold, okay? Maybe both of y'all is not together due to whatever reasons. I don't know. But I see that y'all is definitely in separation right here. And somebody definitely needs to make a decision about this situation. If somebody is definitely tied up into a, a um somebody is definitely tied up into a um another situation that they call dependency. And there's a need for some legal issues. There may need to, there might need to be some legal issues involved. And then people and then y'all working on your money too at the same time. But I feel like this cycle is definitely closing out with, you know, this person being in this codependent entity in this third party situation. And, um, yeah, and this feeling of being left out in the cold and this feeling of not having no money. I feel like this cycle is definitely closing out. Either this person is about to close out this cycle or this could be your energy. So in the past, we have judgment. So there was definitely decisions made, judgments was cast. Okay, in the situation, clap out of judgment. Okay, so somebody was definitely thinking about something clearly. Okay, seeing things from a different perspective, trying to get, you know, different. Um, yeah, what they was thinking about was love, offering a cup of love here with this case of cups. And this person definitely see this potential in this relationship, either you or them. Somebody definitely see the potential here. So this is what they was thinking about, you know, whether or not this could grow. Um, whether or not this relationship could grow, do I really love this person? You know, shit like that. How far could it go? But I feel like you guys definitely put a lot into this situation here. And somebody is definitely thinking about all the things that was put in, you know, to this situation. Um, so all of these things, all these factors was what led up to the decision that this person was thinking or a decision that you was thinking about. Okay. So we don't for cancer, Scorpio, cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like there's definitely going to be a reconciliation. So we, this is the second time we've seen this three of cups. Okay? Because this is with this other person. So I feel like this person wants to reconcile and celebrate together as well. Yeah, this is what they're thinking about. They think about this when they sleep. And remember I was saying this person is dreaming about something? Or this person is dreaming about you. Like, they really they really be dreaming about you. For real, for real. <clears throat> this cream. Alright. So the current energy that's bringing the two of you guys together is the eight of wands. So we've seen this card already. This is the second time we've seen this. So I feel like you guys are going to be communicating with each other, texting. Y'all probably already doing so or texting about this, texting about, you know, what decisions you guys are going to make, how you're going to balance things out, probably um, talking about your feelings with each other, probably talking about finances as well. But I do see communication. Y'all texting each other, though, for sure. And if you ain't, then you better be expecting a text because this person is going to text you or you want to text them. So y'all definitely in communication now. Even if you're not in the same place physically. Yeah, so y'all going to be communicating currently because you guys are definitely separated um, in the situation right now. Um, I feel like there's definitely some toxic energy though currently that's limited around y'all's situation here. Um, because somebody is definitely feeling hurt, okay, in this situation. Um, yeah, you guys are definitely talking about the feelings. Y'all communicating about, you know, your emotions, the hurt, the pain, the separation. You're communicating about, um, you know, the toxic energies, the addictions, all of that. Like, you definitely communicating that. Y'all putting all that out on the table here. I feel like there was definitely a betrayal, okay, or due to this conversation, there's going to be some type of ending, or you guys are talking about putting an end into those things, okay? Um, yeah, and there's definitely an opportunity for some money coming towards you guys. Um, a new job opportunity or some money or a brand new stable offer. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Well, you can have those signs in your chart. I feel 
like somebody is definitely just want this person so bad that they just ready to do whatever they got to do to get this person, even at any cost. You feel me? And that's toxic energy. Like you can't. It's like you willing to sacrifice anything and everything to get to this person here. Yeah. And you know, no matter what it is, no, no matter what devil you got to, what devil you got to fight because some of y'all is definitely hurt and tired of being in separation. But I don't think that that's the right decision. Let me see more about this devil card. Because this devil card is in your um your possible um outcome section as well. Damn. Hold up. Okay, let me break these down real quick. I want to break down the devil. Okay, five of cups. So feeling regrets. Okay, sadness. Sadness and regrets, okay, about um, a union or a marriage, okay, or some house, you know, some situation, a house situation. So I feel like this is what y'all talking about. So y'all definitely was having this conversation about, you know, the negative shit that was going on within the household and what y'all regret about it, what y'all feel sad about. Okay, that's what I was picking up. Aries, your Sagittarius energy. Yeah, so I feel like the separation, you guys, um, somebody could have blocked somebody, one of y'all could have blocked one another, but I feel like this separation was to protect you guys from something. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's this, mas it's this masculine energy. See, the Empress coming out again. We see him right here. Okay, he coming right back out. He, this is the person who walked away, okay? So this Emperor is the one that's feeling blocked and protected. Like, he's trying to block himself, or he's the one that did the, the blocking. But I feel like y'all are going to be communicating about this. I feel like this person could have been blocking their emotions because um, they felt like they was hurt over something. Okay, or blocking their emotions due to the separation because we do have the Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? And this is somebody that's like emotionless, okay? Feeling left out in the cold, feeling like, you know, like cold-hearted for real, like cold-hearted. You feel me? It could be this person, this masculine energy that's feeling that way. And then we have the Empress energy here. He feels that way towards it. It's Empress energy. It could be the mother, his child, his wife, whoever. Okay, Virgo, Libra energy. Yeah, but I feel like he's trying to manifest something now and he wants to give equally in the situation now. Okay, so this is what the communication is about. So you guys are definitely going to be talking about these issues here because this person in the past, you know, already thought about, you know, and thought about how much they care about you and you thought about that with them and seeing th how can things grow. So they already got the perspective that they need. Now they need to clear the air. So this is what this is, you know, coming clean about the negative toxic addictions, the hurt, the pain. You know, the blockages, the reasons for the blockages, you know, and what do we want now? You know, we want, you know, I want to be able to give equally, you know, in the situation here. I want to be able to progress forward, okay? And I want us to be able to work together, okay, as a team, okay? See that? Could be dealing from the court. Um, I see. I'm saying no more signs. Y'all already know. So I feel like this person is willing to get that with at all costs, okay? Um, they tired of the pettiness, you know? They don't really want to be petty anymore in the situation. And they're ready to clear this air and communicate that all with the um, Eight of Wands, okay? You guys could definitely be texting and talking about that now, or that could definitely be coming in soon. This is the overall energy here. Okay. So now the possible outcome for the future is the Devil card, okay? So, wow. 
Mars is the possible outcome. Capricorn energy. Why is the devil the current outcome? The possible outcome. Okay. Okay, so the Queen of, Queen of Wands, and we have the um, Four of Cups, and we have the Ace of Wands, okay? So I'm feeling like with these energies coming in, this is Aries energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? So with these energies coming in, I'm feeling like... Um, I feel like this person is definitely attracted to you, and I feel like they want to make an offer because they definitely want a brand new passionate beginning with you. This is what they want, okay? They see you as like fiery, sexy, um, you know, a down ass motherfucker, like somebody who's a rider, who will ride or die for them. Like, that's what this Queen of Wands energy is, you know, a rider. This person will ride for you and all that. And they want to make this offer here. They're sitting here in solitude doing that. And the offer that they want to make is um, a brand new patch to begin with. So they definitely want to fuck you. But, you know, I feel like they're trying to hold back. You feel me? They're trying to hold back and they're trying to think clearly about the situation. They're trying to think in a logical, think from a logical standpoint. So I feel like you ain't with this person right now, but this person want to come to you. Okay. Um, and I feel like with this devil energy here, this could be representing the Capricorn person. That I'm talking to you, okay? And this um this Aries energy, this full cups energy is this person, or this could be it could be either or, but this is how I'm reading it, okay? Um, so somebody definitely want to make an offer, a passionate offer, okay, because they see somebody as attractive as fuck, okay. Um And it can be toxic in a way. It could be dealing with Gemini, Toshville, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Um, tell me why the devil is here though. With... Yeah, okay, because he definitely has some... Okay, so this is definitely the toxic energy that needs to be put... That they need to be put down. This somebody got karmic energy that they need to deal with. They have a lot of karmic energy that they need to deal with. A lot of toxic energy. This person could be toxic for you, or you could be toxic for them. But I feel like y'all want to come together and emerge, or y'all want to come together in some type of union. Okay, so they want to put this toxic energy behind. That's what this is about because we have the death card and then we have the um, set of swords. Okay, so both of these are talking about endings. When I see them together like this, I mean, they all have both have different meanings. But when I see them together like this, this is talking about putting an end into this toxic behavior. Okay, this negative behavior, all the negative things. Because this person definitely wants to come into the household and they want to come into union with you here. Yeah. They, like I said, they see you as sexy as fuck, or you see them like that, and they definitely want to fuck you. They want a brand new beginning, a brand new passionate beginning with you. Like, this person can't wait to get their fucking hands on you, but they're trying to come, they're thinking about making this offer here, and that's what the offer is. You know, they're contemplating the offer because they know that they have a lot of this toxic energy, whatever that is that's holding them back. You know, they got to put an end to that, okay? So that's what the possible outcome is. Either you struggle with this toxic energy or a comic person, or the person that you're dealing with struggle with toxic negative energy addictions, or a comic person, okay? Um, could we deal with a Scorpio, too? I think I might have said all of them, though. All right, so um, 
the advice, romance angels, we got as romantic feelings, of course, y'all got romantic feelings of, with each other, you know, um, and this person is definitely going to be coming back discussing those things, because this person was definitely blocking their feelings here, you know, they was feeling cold-hearted, or they was feeling like you was being cold-hearted to them, but really, all you're trying to do is just balance out your money right now, you're trying to, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to get your money right. You're trying to get your finances stable here. So we have romantic feelings and it says um, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I feel like, you know, whatever these issues is with this person, somebody is definitely, you know, going to be communicating the way that they feel here. Okay, because this is what somebody was thinking about here and they already made this decision with this um, hangman. Ace of Cups and this um, Seven of Pentacles, okay? They want to see where this can go, okay? Somebody definitely want to see where this can go, and this person definitely want to express their love. They have a lot of love for you. This person loves you, okay? So this was your reading, Capricorn. Hopefully it resonated with you guys. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next reading.